Welcome back everyone. Today's packages come from SquishyShop.com and Delightful Boutique. First off is the package from Squishy Shop. It's only three items. Um, one of them was the set of iBloom Toasts. I did end up buying a set from them because they had them in stock first. Um, I did end up buying another set from Squishy Japan. Uh, so this set is not going to be opened. I'm going to list these, or I've already listed these on my eBay and Store Envy Shop. So if you guys are interested in blind bag versions, um, they will be up there. I also have a couple that I did open listed on those shops, so get a good look at them. I really did like how these turned out, so I highly recommend them if you're in for a good, small, very slow rising squishy that's also scented. So far, most of the scents on this set were really good. So yeah, there's that. And Squishy Shop, which are Cutie Creative, the brand, were courteous enough to send this flattened inside of cardboard. So that's really awesome of them. Glad they took the time to do that. From there, let's move on to the next squishy. Here we have an extra that they actually sent me. I did not order this. It's one of the, are you an angel or a devil tooths? Um, I was kind of interested in these, but not really, because <laughs> I never bought one. I, I think they're cute, but they're not really my thing. I wonder what they smell like though. There's no hole in the bag to be able to tell what they smell like. So I'm tempted to open it. I'm on the fence about opening this one or not. I do kind of want to, but I don't know if I will keep this. It's very cute. I might give this to a friend, who knows. Um, but for now, it's gonna stay in its little packaging. It's very cute that way and makes it very easy to hang. This little guy I did purchase. This is the Hugami Damiel, I think. Cursive N, perhaps, little gummy bear. They also have cats in various colors. I've got the purple one and they're just tiny little money money style plastic stretchy toys oh wow i really do like the packaging for these they're much better than having them on my desk where they just get covered in dust here's the little guy it's covered in this sheet of plastic which i think i'm going to keep it in it does have licensing on the back it says no domiel no domi domiel d-o-m-i-e-l which is on the packaging as well so that's really cute. And you can get these all over Japanese stores. Um, Squishy Shop is the only one that I've seen to list these on their site other than I think Delightful Boutique. That's really funny. They're quite sticky, so um, I'm definitely gonna keep them in the plastic and the packaging because I don't want it to get full of dust. It's really cute. Before I put this back, I sniffed it just, just to see. Um, and this is actually scented, you guys, that is astonishing i never i didn't even think that was possible these are made out of solid plastic there's no layer of anything on top of them so i think it's very hard to get a solid scent that does not smell like chemicals but this does not have any chemical smell it's a little oily i think that's what it is and it smells very sweet like um let's see yeah this this kind of has a mix of a very faint berry but mainly banana smell the artificial banana candy smell wow that is so crazy so good job to NIC, I believe, are the ones who made this, yes, for actually making a stretchy toy like this that is scented. So that was awesome, but let's move on. The next package I have is from Delightful Boutique, and they did write fragile on top of the box this time, so it came perfect, whereas last time it came completely crumpled. Um, first, actually, let's start with an extra that they gave me. So here's the extra. It is a Disney Rapunzel toast loaf. That's really cool. Is this licensed? It looks like it's licensed. I did see these going around on Japan Yahoo auctions. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty squishy. I was not expecting that. It's not the slowest to rise, but it's very airy and soft. Let's open this guy up. The bag is pretty cute. It has kind, graceful, loyal, all kinds of popular positive words on the bag. And here's the squishy. So there's two pictures of Rapunzel on each side. They look like they're from the coloring books. I have seen a couple coloring books for princesses. And there's a very glossy, glossy finish on each side. I'm not really into Disney, um, and by that I mean I'm not really into the merchandise part of it. I love their movies, but I've never been really attracted to buying all the merchandise for the princesses, with the exception of Mulan a little, and um, Pocahontas, but this is really nice. 
uh, does not have any licensing that I can see on the squishy itself. And there's some rough edges in the paint job, but other than that, it's a very solid squishy. Very cute. Uh, it just smells like plastic, but it actually has that old school um, sweet bread smell that's mixed with chemicals that a lot of older squishies have. So that's really, that's really awesome actually. It's a kind of a blast to the past. Next I have this Poly Popular Boxes Cream Donut. It reminds me a lot of the hammy hamster donut that I have that um, some came with sprinkles. I'm not sure if these did too. Um, and I got this one, one, because it's really cute, but it's scented. And this one supposedly smells like lime, which is a, a scent I don't really see that often with squishies. It says popular on the bottom for licensing. Hopefully you can see that. It definitely has a lime smell or lemon smell, I suppose. It's very citrusy, it smells delicious. And the squishy itself is quite soft. It has that standard uh, Punimaru texture. I don't think this is made by Punimaru, but the texture is more or less the same. It has the matte finish with some glossy bits here and there. Pretty slow rising. But the scent is what I'm impressed with. It smells really good. It's more of a shampoo-y lemon smell though. Very citrusy, but still good. I think that smells pretty delicious. The next squishy that I have is one of the Cutie Creative Toast Loaves. The toast is quite huge, as you can see, but it's quite cute. I love the packaging. It has mummy and tummy on each side, as well as general information of Cutie Creative and their licensing sticker. Nothing on the bottom, it's just taped, but I absolutely love how they did the top. I don't honestly know what this is supposed to be scented as. I, I want to say it's just bread, but I did hear some conflicting opinions about it smelling like chocolate or candy. So I was curious and decided to get one. Let's see what it smells like. Okay, so this is really, really soft. It definitely has that old school squishy texture. And this actually surprised me. It's not flat on the other side. It's round, so it's kind of like the end of the, the loaf that they cut off. It's really squishy. It's a lot lighter than I was expecting, honestly. I thought it would have a more burnt color or paint job but it looks very realistic. Like if you didn't see the other side, that would look like bread to me. It's very squishy, has cutie creative on the bottom. And let's see. Perhaps I was very spot on when I said that this reminds me a lot of old school bread squishies because this, this also has the smell. <laughs> it's not very scented. Um, I think they were trying to go for a sweet bread smell, but I just smell chemicals but then in other parts of the squishy, I don't smell it at all. So I think this was a prob probable failure in terms of the smell. And I see some green bits here and there. So that's a little disappointing to me because had it smelled like sweet bread, I feel like this squishy would have been perfect for bread squishy lovers like me. Um, but it doesn't have a scent, which is very disappointing, but it's still a pretty good squishy. It's really, really soft in that old school sponge squishy way, but also in general texture and it's cool. I like the mummy on the front. And then finally, the main reason I bought stuff from Delightful Boutique again, they restocked the Punimaru coffee um, jumbo buns. I, I, I don't think these are melon buns, they're just general buns, coffee buns. And I have been wanting one of these for a long time. I missed out when they first came out. I was very reluctant at the time to buy expensive squishies like this. The only reason I have my Cornet is because a friend bought it for me. So I was very ecstatic when they restocked these. Because Delightful Boutique does send stuff in a box, they did have this pre-assembled. And for that, I'm okay with. I only have an issue if they send pre-assembled boxes and bubble mailers because... They just don't stand a chance when that happens. So here is a squishy. It has the old school packaging with the premium jumbo bakery squishy sticker on the top. It's a uh, it lost its stickiness. It looks like, you know, honestly, this doesn't look as big as I thought it would be. Um, all the pictures and at the time everyone made it seem really huge, but with all the new squishies we have, this doesn't seem that big. 
It looks 100% real though. The paint job is amazing. And it has the old school Punimaru dough feeling. That dough squish. Unfortunately, I am very disappointed with this squishy, if I'm to be quite honest. I expected this to have the coffee scent that is in my cornet, which I can pull out and smell, and it'll smell like really burnt coffee. This has the Punimaru chocolate scent, which is not good. I do not like that scent. I can kind of smell just a sweet smell on some parts of the squishy, but mainly the top, I smell the Punimaru chocolate scent. It's not good. Not good at all. It's not very strong either, which I guess in my case is a good thing. That I can't smell that thing, that disgusting odor from far away as I'm squishing it, but it's a coffee bun. I was really hoping it would have that coffee smell. So I can't say I'm super delighted about this. The detail is amazing though. Like this is legit <laughs> a really good squishy for bread. I don't see Punimaru anywhere. I'm not sure if these had licensing in the past, but for a squishy, it's round. I like the design. It looks very realistic. It's an A plus in that department, but the smell is just awful. At least to me, it's not very good at all. And that is it for this squishy package. Thank you so much for watching. Like always, I will leave the links to these products in the description, although some of them may be sold out. Have some caution and make sure to use PayPal when you buy from Squishy Shop. They have a reputation and I don't work for them so I cannot help you other than to tell you to file a PayPal claim if anything goes wrong. Delightful Boutique is always a pleasant store though. They offer extras, ship things in a very sturdy box, and the squishies are always in peak condition. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.